Playoffs and seeding may have already been decided for the girls' softball tournament, but we had a barn burner out in Mosini. The number one seeded 23 and 1 Indians in Division 2, they host the number one seed in D1, the 22 and 1 Spash Panthers. We'll pick it up, bottom six, five to four Panthers and Taylor Jershley of Mosini lacing that one down the line for the double. And then Amber Gonzalez shining in the clutch. That brings around Jershley. Now the number three team in Division One, they're on their heels. Mosini, they can smell that blood in the water tie game. Can they take the lead? Well, this helps fuel it. Alana Bimbenek with one of the best bunts I've seen all year. So then it's corners for Maggie Waller and that's in her wheelhouse. Two come around to score, and you think these girls are having a lot of fun here? Number seven makes it seven to five, Mosini. Yep, they're juiced off, and to cap it off, Adeline Streck might have a future with State Farm because she's bringing in the insurance runs. What a comeback for Mosini, previously down five to two in the third. The final score, eight to five, Mosini with the runner on second. The Panthers get hunted down. Streck stretching for the grab, and Mosini is hot heading into the tournament. We just chipped away again, and, and that's kind of been our mentality all year is to chip away, and we're, we're going to make mistakes. It's a game of failure, um, but we just have to keep our head up and then continue to push and, and know it's seven innings of games. A lot of a handful of our games weren't seven innings, but we preach it's it's every pitch, every out, every inning. We have ten batters that can hit, and I can only bat nine. Um, and, and again, I try to piece together what we can, and we, we, we bunt when we need to. We hit the ball hard when we need to, and right now we're doing the little things right.